to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen Well it is that time of day again where we gotta buckle up and uh, put the truck in gear and get comfortable sitting and get some miles behind us. That's right. But we did go get a cup of coffee, so that's try this. Pretty good coffee. So here we go. Let's put her in gear and let's get out of here. There we go. I already did my walk around, tree trip, and all that stuff. So checked everything. Everything was good. Had the truck idling for a while. Man, I can't believe this truck. Uh, this truck stop ahead. is so uh, quiet today. You know, it's really quiet. But anyways, let's get back on the road. We appreciate you guys uh, coming on and joining me today. Yeah, this is a little bit part of Lloyd Minister. Yeah. On this side, it's Alberta side. Right in the middle of the town, we got Saskatchewan border. Or whatever way you want to look at it. One side, it's Alberta. On the other side, it's Saskatchewan. So, whichever way you look at it, and one side is definitely not Alberta. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the, everybody's going to Tim Hortons getting their cup of coffee anyways let's hit the road and once we're on the other side let's get going rolling and let's get some miles in let's get home tonight I'm just cruising along here on highway 16 in Saskatchewan I'm between uh, Saskatoon and uh, Dafo, Saskatchewan yeah, I'm pretty much about halfway between there. I think it's about 170, 170 kilometers from uh, Saskatoon to Dafo. And we got 80 kilometers to go up to Dafo. So yeah, we're just here in the middle of nowhere. Pretty much flat lands up here. You don't see a whole lot of trees up here, but yeah. Looks like it must have been windy here overnight or something because there's a little bit of snow drifts every once in a while, you know. See a little bit of white stuff on the on the highway, but it's not slippery. We're just giving her. We haven't even stopped since we left this morning, so we're already got about three and three quarter hours worth of driving behind us. But I think we will make a pit stop up there in Dafo. Yeah, it's time to go use the restroom and probably get me a bite to eat. I haven't had anything to eat yet today, so we're starting to get a little bit hungry. Not super, super hungry yet, but uh, yeah, we'll make a stop over there, that's for sure. We still have 777 kilometers to get home to. So we got definitely about eight and eight and quarter hours worth of driving. But we got a long day ahead of us yet. That's for sure. But anyways, let's continue on with our journey. And let's see what else you'll be able to show you today. I have just entered Manitoba. That's right. And as you can see, it's looking like ice fog in the air 
I've seen a lot of trucks that come from this area. They got a complete white grill on the front, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's the same with my grill on the front. I wouldn't be one bit surprised. But hey, that's the way it goes. But yeah, we are definitely in Manitoba now. We do have a big valley coming up here just before Russell, Manitoba. And I think that's what the GPS was just telling me, that there's a valley coming up. A big downhill. Yeah, that's right. But we are doing good. I mean, we have gotten some good miles in, right? I mean, we are... We left Alberta border, Saskatchewan Alberta border this morning and here we are, we are in Manitoba. But we still do have a good ways to go yet. We do have uh, 437 kilometers to go yet till we get home, but oh well. And it's okay. If we keep our steady, we can make it home tonight. And it looks like the valley is just starting to go downhill up here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Looks like a steep valley, eh? That actually isn't too bad. It really isn't. This one in particular is not bad. But we gotta get through it, right? Yeah, that's an old truck that we just passed. Looks like a fairly old truck, but... Yeah... I've been through this highway so many times, like... <laughs> it's nothing new to me anymore for this valley, but... That pulls up a little harder on the other side, but... It's nothing that we can't handle, right? At least that's what I think. Yeah, it looks like there's just barely enough snow up here to do uh, snowmobiling it looks like but apparently at home we got a little more snow than this so hopefully that's the case yeah, this river doesn't look like it's frozen yet so here we go now we're gonna start get, getting uh, up on this hill climbing up this hill We'll see how tough it's going to be. Yeah. Let's see if we will make another stop. I told you guys earlier that I was going to stop at Dafo, but I actually ended up stopping about 60 kilometers before Dafo. There's a little town up there, and we got like a Subway restaurant in there. I went in there and had me a Subway sandwich, and just as I was finishing it, Trucker Jukebox called me and he says, you're eating, aren't you? And I said, yep, I'm definitely eating. And he says, what you having? And I said, I'm having a prime rib. <laughs> I got him good on that one. I guess he had never heard of uh, Subway having a prime rib sandwich. And so I didn't tell him that was, uh, I was at Subway or, or you know, I was having a prime rib sandwich. I was just telling him, I'm having a prime rib, and I wasn't lying, right? <laughs> ah, that was a good one. I pulled a good one over him. I kept telling him to laugh out of that one, but yeah, see, there we go. He made it no problem, right? Yeah, that's what I thought that's what it was going to be, but anyways, we had a good laugh. Yeah, me and Drupax, we are good friends. I mean, we not always agree on everything, but, you know, we are, we are good friends. In my books, we are friends for life, you know. Unless he treats me real bad for a while, I guess then I wouldn't be his friend anymore, but he has never treated me wrong yet, so. He's a good man, he's a very good man. But anyways, looks like this, uh, tractor trailer up here is not able to pull up to speed as fast as me so we're gonna have to slow down yeah, it's a grain hauler so I can't pass a meter you know because it's too dangerous because it's still going up a little bit so I can't really see what's coming up ahead right so 
I don't want to take that risk and try and pull out and then all of a sudden there's a vehicle coming and that put both of us in danger or all three of us in danger I guess I don't need that so I might try to just slow her down and take her easy and we'll get by him or he'll get up to speed eventually and we'll be all right Anyways, with that being said, let's uh, continue on and we'll see what else we'll be able to show you. Alrighty guys, we are almost in Manitoba, Manitoba that is. A little tiny pullover scale up here. If you call it a scale, I guess it's a DOT scale pullover area where they can't actually inspect you, I guess, but it's more like just, you know, for random, I guess, for random inspections or whatever. Well, we do have a rest area up here in about two miles 3.5 kilometers or something like that so uh, I'm gonna go pull in there and take me a little break yeah that's right I already talked to uh, dispatch and it sounds like they're not gonna have a load right away first thing in the morning and I got me a better alert earlier saying that uh, they're expecting to get a snowstorm tomorrow afternoon towards the evening into Manitoba so I ain't gonna play this game call back uh, after 9, call back after this, call back after that I don't wanna play that game so I've had a good trip got some decent miles Two kilometers. I'm just going to take off then. Till after Christmas. I might do a short trip between Christmas and New Year's. I was going to go around it right up till the 23rd, 24th, and then just take off till after New, uh, New Year's. But uh, uh, the wife mentioned the other day, she said, oh, well, why don't we just go on a short trip there between Christmas and New Year's? And, so, well, that's, that's a good idea, actually. So. Well, we don't get a load here tomorrow. Well, what they told me, they came back and told me they have nothing yet. They said call back after uh, after nine tomorrow. So, well, I don't feel like playing that game right now. So, because usually what ends up happening then is oh, they call back after after whatever, like lunch, and then that turns and call me after two, and then it turns into well, call me around four o'clock, and then. And then it's like, okay, we got some here the next day, and then, you know, and then it's going to be too close to Christmas, so I was kind of hoping if I can get out uh, tomorrow morning, do a little bit of a run there, then I would do it, but, nah, I don't feel like playing that game, so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to take tomorrow off, oh, well, take all the day off, come on, make the road so rough. But anyways, we're just going to take off then till, till the 28th. I sent them a message back. I said, don't forget it. I'll be available on the 28th to go on a three-day trip. We'll be back on the 30th. Forget it. I ain't playing this bullshit game, you know. And so, uh, we're just going to have about six days off then. We're going to have a week off after all. Say, Manadosa, our tourist information rest area. That's right. Anyways, the sun is almost going down, so I guess we'll just park her right here. And I am going to go home tonight, though. I really am. I'm just going to pull her in right here, and I got to take care of some business. And we'll see you all a little bit later. Alrighty, guys, we have made it home, sound and safe. That's right. Yeah. I'm kind of glad I didn't get a load out tomorrow, you know. No, I'll get to stay at home while we're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow. And so I'm very glad about that. Yeah. Anyways, I just figured I would close my show off and let you guys know how much we appreciate you guys watching us. I know you guys are probably going to be fairly busy over all the holidays. And family gatherings and all that so you might actually be watching this afterwards but hey that's all right too right but we are happy that we have made it home it's been a long journey 
we had just over 9,000 kilometers in. I think it was like 5,700 miles. So that's been a very long trip. And thankfully it's been a safe trip. We didn't have to chain up anywhere. Nothing like that. So, hey, we got some cool videos coming up here over uh, Christmas holidays and all that. So stay tuned for those and then we'll see you on there. behind me that day is gonna come